thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a bit more of a conditioning based class. So we'll start again with arm circles, my favorite. Little ones forward. We'll start with a little bit of a smaller plie. And then we'll move into big arm circles, get a little bit lower in your plie. Start going backwards, little circles back. And big circles. Okay, now we're gonna turn our feet so that they're parallel. We're gonna come down into a squat, kick the butt as you come up. Make sure that your knees are not going over top of your toes. feeling fairly warm now let's do a little bit of a side stretch so make sure in this one that you're going directly over to the side um, a very common thing that I see is people starting to turn towards the ground so you want to think about just from your upper body and if that means you can't go as far that is totally fine you want to be working in proper alignment and it will help you get that flexibility later okay we're going to do three big circles back here And then three forward. And then we'll see if you can lower that down a little bit. And switch sides. Same thing, we'll hang out here for a little bit. And then three big circles back. And then three forward. See if you can lower it down a little. And bringing it back up. Okay, we'll do just a really quick stretch and then we'll get right into the conditioning. So coming down with a flat back, drop it down all the way, we can flex for 10. And if this is something you need blocks for usually, you can grab some pillows, set them up on either side of you. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and last one. Bring it back up. We'll switch sides. Same thing. Pop it down all the way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And last one, let's come into a neutral position with the feet, just let the body relax here, sway side to side. And we'll roll it up slowly. I'm going to tilt the head to one side. If you want more of a stretch, you can flex your wrist. If you want even more of a stretch, you can grab your head. And then switch sides, same thing. Okay, now we're going to really keep our shoulders down, cross the arm over, make sure you're not grabbing your elbow joint. And switch sides, same thing. Okay, we'll just get into the ground here, into a tabletop position. We're going to be doing some planking stuff. 
We'll just roll out our wrists quickly. Three circles one way, three the other way. And then hands out to the sides, just moving side to side. Here we'll get into a little bit of a cat cow arching. We can drag more to back. And then we'll lace the arm through. This arm's going to come in front of the face. If you need more of a stretch, you can push back with that arm that's in front. Make sure your shoulder's all the way on the ground, and you're going to try to keep your hips square in this one. Coming out of that, we'll switch sides, place the arm through. And coming 